Hi, I'm Travis Gibson with MGM Targets. Today we're going to go over the uh, assembly of the flash target. Um, we're going to start right off. The first thing that we've got in the box that you should have in the box is, our, is the target itself. Looks like this. This is a 3 8 inch thick AR500 plate. Uh, the 50 cal model has got 3 quarter inch thick plate. The target size will be the same, a 10 inch round, 5 inch wide, and 10 inch tall here. But the diameter of the target is 10 inches. Um, the vertical shaft on it, you're going to have one side of this should not be painted. Uh, we did that, it comes from the factory that way, and I'll explain to that, that in just a minute. Next piece you should have in there is a horizontal shaft that makes up the top portion of the A-frame. Um, it's got set collars on each side that should come from the factory set where they need to be and blue lock it uh, down. Uh, on the top here there's a grease zert. You can leave this thing out in the weather. You just want to put in about uh, you know, a squirt every six months or so. We'll keep this thing nice and smooth and running good. Uh, again, this piece should also come unpainted, this, this side of it. One side's painted, the other side is not. You have two of the Y's. These are the parts that uh, hold the, uh, the legs. Four legs. Uh, when you get these, you'll notice one side of them has been flared out and the other side is nice and square. Uh, the, the one end that's been flared out will be a little bit oblong and that's to uh, accommodate the Y's. I'll show you that in just a minute as well. Two flash card holders. Uh, these you'll need a 9 16th end wrench to get these assembled uh, each time that you're out in the field. They'll have a half inch nut on one side, the other side will have a half inch nut and two washers. You'll have two of each of those. An orange card and a white card. And the last thing that you'll have in the kit is two grade 8 half inch bolts and two grade C lock nuts. Uh, don't want to lose these. These are the only things that you'll need, uh, the, the only small parts that you'll need to assemble. You only need them one time, and then as soon as you're done with that, you won't need them anymore. Um, the grade C lock nuts, you'll be able to tell if they're grade C or not because one side will be radius. When we assemble the target, you'll want that to go to the outside. The tools that you'll need for this are going to be a 3 quarter inch end wrench or socket. A socket works good for this, and a 9 16 inch end wrench. Okay, to start off, just like we talked about it a minute ago, you want to take the side that's unpainted on the target and the side that's unpainted on the shaft, on the horizontal shaft, and those two will want to match up. Okay? You'll notice on the, sh on the uh, horizontal shaft the holes in this are oblong. And the reason for that is uh, so you can put the carriage bolt in there and it won't spin. So you only need one, one wrench for this. Put those together. When you get this uh, snug down, go ahead and tighten it up as much as you can. The reason there's no paint on there is because after time, uh, if you get these as tight as you can, you shoot it for a while, the paint will actually start to chip away and it'll, uh, it'll, the, these nuts will loosen up. So when you get these tightened up as much as you can, if you have a torque wrench, you want to do them to about 120 foot-pounds. If you don't, just use a 10-inch crescent or a 12-inch crescent or end wrench and just get them as tight as you can. Uh, no, no hand tools are going to be able to strip this out. So there's that portion of it. From there, you want to assemble the, uh, the legs onto the Ys. Uh, like I was talking about earlier, one side's going to be oblong, flared out, and that's to accept this. They'll slide right in there. If you're trying to put it on the wrong side, it might go in a little ways, but then it's going to get stuck. So that's how you know you're putting it on the right side. From there, take the target, the horizontal shaft will go into the hole on the Y, one on each side. You only need about an inch or so sticking out off of each side. The further you've got the legs out from the target itself, the less likely they are to get shot. Um, at this point, we're going to go ahead and install the flash card holders. You want the side that has the single nut going towards the shaft. One on the front, one on the back. And this is where you're going to need your 916 end wrench to snug this up. You want to go ahead and make this nice and tight. Because again, you know, just like the paint, 
If you start shooting it, they're going to loosen up and then your flashcards are going to fold over. So from here, what you want to do is you want to stand behind the target and you want to use these two flashcard holders to get the target uh, aligned to your firing position. If you do that, it's really going to hide that back card um, when it starts rocking, so it's going to be, and you're not going to be able to see the orange card when it's going to be shot. And there we're going to install the cards themselves. You'll notice that the holes are actually offset to one side. And what you want to do is you want to put the cards as high on the on the holders as you can. So we're going to just uh, to get started here. We're going to use the bottom hole on the card. And then what you want to do on the back is you want to take and actually sight down over the tops of these two cards and you want to put it to where you cannot see the firing position when you're sighting over the tops of these cards. And I'll show you why in just a minute. When you tighten the nuts down on the cards, you want to compress that material. Having that nice and tight on there, that's what's going to make it work right. The more you shoot it, if they get loosened up, they won't work anymore. So, as you can see there, you can barely see the orange card, but when you get a hit, you'll get a nice big flash on it. That right there is probably like a 9 mil hit. If you're shooting at 150 yards with a 5.56, it'll look more like that. The last thing that you want to do after you've uh, got these uh, flash charts tightened down is take and push down on this horizontal bar and push these legs out as far as you can. Do that on both sides. And what that'll do is when the target starts to get, when it's been shot a few times, it'll really rock and settle in there nicely and actually put a little bit of inward pressure on those legs and make them work good. Um, that, that's it. That's all there is to it. So if you've got any questions, you can call the uh, toll-free number. It's 888-POPPER-1. That's 888-767-7371. Or you can get a hold of us at the website. It's www.mgmtargets.com. Thank you.